Yo, what is up YouTube? I'm Blitz5 and in today's video I'm going to be talking about the self-loading rifles in Battlefield 1. And the reason why I'm using this weapon is because I'm going for the medal called the Medic Order of Valor. And what this is, is you have to get 20 kills with a self-loading rifle, then get 10 headshots, and then get 5 kills in a life to get this medal. That like a lot of different classes have medals like this, and I want to re-emphasize that everybody should be going for medals in the game to level up and get extra XP. So you actually get 1,000 XP for each level that you accomplish within the three, and remember that you can only do one at a time, so you have to get 20 kills before you get to 10 headshots. I think most people know that by now, but you know, just a FYI, PSA. And then if you finish the medal, you get 5,000 points, so that's huge. It's not super exciting, but at least gives you something to do, and without this medal, I probably wouldn't have been using these self loading rifles because personally I don't really like them that much in the game but what I want to say is that the self-loading rifle self-loading rifle is pretty interesting like right here I should have got that guy in one shot so it kind of bums me out sometimes I kill people really fast other times it feels like the gun lags so much or like shoots so slow and I can't kill anybody and it only has five bullets in the clip but what's cool about these rifles is that they were actually the first guns in World War One, the first guns to be used in in like combat to have this action, the self-loading rifle that we all know today, the automatic kind of rifle, even though it doesn't shoot automatic, it has that kind of capability where the bullet loads itself into the chamber because before this, everybody had to manually load each bullet by cocking the gun back, putting it into the chamber, and then shooting it. So these were the first guns that actually used the power. You know, I'm not a fucking gun engineer or like mechanical engineer, but it used the power of the first bullet being shot, I think in some air pressure to bring up the second bullet and then that went auto load into the chamber and then you could shoot again with a semi-automatic rifle that's pretty much what it is it's just a semi-automatic rifle and it's cool that you know this was like the first time they were using them and i'm sure there was probably a ton of issues in real life and that's where battlefield one kind of exaggerates right like there wasn't that many automatic weapons or tanks in battlefield one i mean in world war one but you know they kind of have to put that in the game to keep it you know keep people interested nobody wants to play a revolutionary war video game where it takes like 10 minutes to reload and then you can't shoot anybody because it, it's extremely inaccurate so they kind of have to suspend like the realism to make a better online game so i don't you know punish them for that i think it's cool i think it's working out very well and i'm really enjoying this game like i've said in many other videos but anyways getting back to this point so i'm playing with this rifle doing pretty cool oh this is a pretty sweet clip so i kill this guy i have two bullets left in my clip and when you reload you can actually see that i'm putting in the individual bullets right there which i thought was a really nice touch and then right here i use all five bullets to kill this guy and when i reload i actually put like the whole stack of the five bullets into the gun which is super realistic super cool that they put that into the game like this it actually seems like you reload faster when you use the the, the full clip so it's like kind of an incentive to use the full clip and then reload and i don't know i just really like the little touches in battlefield one like the gun looks so cool you can see like the rain on the gun and the graphics and everything like just looks really awesome and i, I don't think it's sometimes you lose focus if like, you don't look at your gun while you're playing but if you take your time to see the dirt and everything on it they really did a good job with that and i have to recommend or commend ea games or dice you know everybody that made this game they definitely did a good job on at least the in-game stuff the menu stuff that's a whole nother issue and that's a whole other problem but anyways as this video is kind of coming to an end this is just a quick video on this gun like i said i don't really love this gun but it's a lot of fun using different guns in the game because you do get extra xp like getting your first 10 kills with the gun 100 kills a thousand kills so i definitely recommend trying the different guns out trying this gun out i mean this one has a scope maybe it'd be better without a scope it's kind of hard to use with that and i don't like that it only has five bullets in the clip that's like super shitty to me especially when it's not that strong like you can only kill one to two people in a clip if even and, you know pretty much you could say you can only really kill one person in a clip and that's kind of annoying and there's no really faster way to reload so like i said yeah give that a try what else there's something else i wanted to say keep going for the medals I know like some people haven't been doing them at all. I'm really into that because it kind of gives me more of a purpose to play the game and something to aim for. It also helps you level up a little bit faster. So anyways, thank you all for watching. I'm Blitz5 and peace out.